welcome back to Life on Turkey Lane. Um, I don't know if you caught the video the other day about uh, foraging and uh, the recipe uh, making some wild edible pesto. Um, but tonight we are going to make a recipe um, using some of that pesto. So um, I'm going green tonight. I'm going green for dinner. Before we get started, I want to put in a plug for a good friend of mine who is making um, towel scarves. If you have never heard of a towel scarf, uh, basically it is a scarf that goes around your neck and each end has like a little kitchen towel on it. And um, I asked my friend, she's, she's selling these as a um, project. She needs to try to earn a little extra cash. And so um, she's making these and selling them. Um, and she'll make one in any style you like, you know, that goes with your theme or your kitchen or the colors that you like. And so I'm putting in a plug for my friend. If you would like to purchase one of these, now mine has uh, roosters. I'm gonna see if I can get this in here where you can actually see the rooster. It's kind of hard to do because it folds up. Um, but anyway, this one has roosters and it's in my black and white kitchen theme that I like. And um, she did an awesome job making this for me. And so, um, yeah, I wanted to put a plug in for her. She's wanting to earn a little bit of extra money and um, she does an excellent job making these. And so if you would like one of these for, you know, these are perfect to wear around the kitchen when you're cooking, you know, kind of like my pot holders on a string. This is like kitchen towels and it's made in, in a scarf. It, it's not heavy, it's made out of lightweight material. And these are perfect for cleaning up messes around the kitchen or wiping up spills or, you know, if you want to use these pretty ones for <laughs> something like that. But, um, oh yeah, there's the rooster head. You can see it now. <laughs> I was trying to do it a different way. Um, it's hard to know what things look like in this camera sometimes. So anyway, um, if you would like one of these and want to purchase one from my friend, her name is Paula, and I will put her... Um, where you can reach her at in the description box of this video. So if you want one of these, you go uh, look that information up and go over and see her and uh, tell her that Sheila sent you. And, uh, but I am gonna take this off before I get to cooking tonight because uh, I don't wanna get stuff all over my pretty little roosters. So um, uh, as soon as I put this up, I'm gonna aim you down here and we're gonna get started on our recipe tonight. Okay, so I had one zucchini left in the refrigerator and it's a small one and it's a little worse for the wear here it, it really needs to be used up and so that's why i'm using this tonight um and then of course i've got um that some of that pesto here i've got my little spiralizer my hand spiralizer here um, because we're gonna make um chicken pesto zoodles chicken pesto zoodles that's what we're gonna call it and i've got um a partial chicken here that a rotisserie chicken um, that I've had a couple meals off of and this is ready to be used up too so we're just going to use all these good things up and uh, have it for dinner tonight so I'm just going to start chopping this chicken up and like I said this is going to be a quick and easy recipe it won't take much time at all since the chickens already cooked and uh, it just takes a second to spiralize that zucchini and we're going to warm this chicken up with uh, a little bit of the pesto. Chop that in some nice uh, little bite sized pieces. And our little girl sissy, she's down here on the floor waiting for a little snack. So I'm probably going to have to give her a little bite here in just a little bit. Okay, so we got our chicken and I'm just going to put it here on a plate. And um, then uh, let's spiralize. I'm going to wash this off real quick and then we're going to get this spiralized. Okay, now what I usually do is I'll just cut the little bottom end off of the zucchini here. And I'm going to stick it in the spiralizer on the, the larger noodle side and just start spiralizing that. 
And now when my noodles get real long, I uh, just go ahead, because I don't want mine to be like 10 foot long, I just go ahead and break them off like that. And uh, yeah, we'll get this spiralized in just a second here. This one little zucchini is not gonna take long at all. Okay, so there we go, and I went ahead and chopped a little in that, you know, couldn't be spiralized of the zucchini and just little diced pieces. Okay, so let's head on over here to the stove, and we're going to get this meal put together. Now, this is going to be a quick and easy video and, and a short one, so you might be relieved about that because I tend to get to talking a lot. Um, but let's go over here to the stove, and we'll get this cooked up. Okay, so I have my fry pan out here, and I'm going to start by, uh, I'm going to turn my burner on like a medium to low heat. And uh, I'm gonna add some of this pesto to the pan. And because this pesto, instead of adding like, uh, you know, putting olive oil in your pan first or uh, any kind of oil in your pan to heat up the chicken, this pesto already has uh, the oil in it. So you won't need to use any extra oil. So I'm just gonna mix this up just a little bit. And now I've got, uh, put, uh, pretty good size scoop of that uh, in the pan here and we're gonna let it warm up just a little bit um, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken to the pan while I'm at it pretty much got that in there. I'm just gonna mix it just a little bit. See if we can get some of that oil heating up. Mm, I can smell the garlic and the Parmesan and that's in that pesto. Boy, it smells good too. I'm gonna go ahead and add an extra little dollop of that. So what are you guys cooking for dinner tonight? What's on the menu at your house? So we're just letting that heat up. And since the chicken is already cooked and everything, we're just gonna let this, we're warming it through it doesn't have to cook real long. We're warming it through, and now I'm gonna go ahead and add my zucchini. And so this is a good um, noodle replacement. Uh, no, they do not taste like pasta. No, they don't have the same texture as pasta, but um, they are a good zucchini. Um, noodle replacement for if you're eating low carb. Now by all means if you are not low carb and you want to make this pesto and you want to add some chicken to it like I am, you can add in pasta and uh, have it the way you like it. And um, So now I'm just going to turn this burner down a little bit and I'm going to put a lid on this for just a minute or two and so my uh, Zucchini can cook. Mm, smelling good. Okay, now I'm going to plate myself up some. Let's see if I can my little chocolate things here.
And now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan on that. Okay, y'all, so let's give this delicious uh, um, chicken pesto zoodles a taste test. It is smelling delicious. Oh, look at those zoodles there. I love zoodles. I know some people think, oh, they, you know, because they don't taste like noodles, they're not a good pasta replacement, but I just like zoodles because I like zoodles. I like zucchini. And um, zucchini is basically a vehicle that you can add any flavor to um, because since it's such a mild flavor on its own, you can add any other flavor to it and it takes on that flavor and super good. So this is going to be delicious and I can't wait to get it. Mmm, in my mouth. Mmm. Oh. Yeah, guys, that's, oh, that's good. I can taste the, the Parmesan and the walnuts and the garlic and the pesto and those wonderful um, wild edibles that we forged the, the other day. Mmm. Mm. super super good um i'm gonna post that the video the foraging video up in the corner here and um i hope you go look at that one try the recipe um make yourself some chicken pesto zoodles and um yeah eat it up this is fabulous and before i go i want to show you one more thing I'm so excited to finally have arrived is, um, I'll be right back. Let me show you. My Timu package finally arrived. I ordered it quite a while back and, um, it took a little extra long to get it. But so my next video, be watching for it. I've never shopped Timu before. So I'm going to do a Timu haul and rate Timu and show you what I got. And, um, so be looking forward to that one. And so I thank you guys for joining me tonight here at Life on Turkey Lane. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so thankful for you and I appreciate you coming and spending time with me um, in my kitchen or around my home. And um, I just really appreciate you. I hope you have a really nice, blessed, wonderful morning, evening, night, whatever time of day it is that you're watching. I pray that you're blessed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.